Moving on now, what if planet Mercury is not as hot as scientists say and one was given the opportunity to design a human settlement on that planet? Students from a number of Asian countries, including India, were involved in precisely such a project. We on Zeba Khan has a report. Imagine a space settlement on Mercury. The pundits would immediately tell you the planet is too hot to support life. And it would also on top of this but participants at an international school-level competition in Manisar, near Delhi, were given precisely that task, to use their imagination to set up a fictional aerospace company. Every time you talk about space or rockets, anything that flies catches the attention of the masses, right? right. So space settlement is a tool that we are using to teach technology and management to high school students. Yilin is a 16-year-old high school student from China's Shandong province. She developed an interest in space some years ago. She persuaded her parents to send her on this exciting journey. I have to say it was challenging exciting but also terribly tired i mean i i i seriously just had like two hours to sleep like tomorrow uh, yesterday night and i have to present tonight just after the the lunch break so i'm a little bit nervous but mm -hmm. it's a fine experience yes there were students from pakistan too who were able to overcome familiar problems Initially, we were we were uh, being uh, re uh, refused visa, but then uh, it is an international competition, and it's uh, NASA and Boeing based. So uh, ultimately, we got the visas. For the Indian participants, working together with foreign students was an extraordinary challenge in itself. This is then separated into non biodegradable and biodegradable waste. Well, I would say it's a challenge, but it's a challenge for the better because. I mean, communication is obviously an important barrier because it's very tough to communicate with the Chinese, for example, because they don't understand what we're trying to say. But at the end of the three-day course, I'd say it brings us all closer together. And it's, I mean, it's a very effective way of bringing people closer together is to get them to interact with one another with no prior knowledge of anything beforehand. Right. So that's something that I think is quite interesting. Right. So, but then how do you overcome this barrier of language, you say? We talk. <laughs> we try to talk, and eventually we get around to talk. And when these students come together, the National, national identities disappear and are overcome by their corporate identities in the competition and they become friends and it's fabulous. And within just the last three years or so we're getting mainland Chinese people, uh, youngsters into the mix. Um, same thing, it's, it's amazing how these students are working together as teams. Uh, what we figure is these students in the course of their careers 20 years from now, 25, 30 years from now, will be working internationally. We chose to do a great study on that because we do not want... The semi-final competition has now concluded after three days and the winner was the company Vulture Aviation, which comprised schools from India and China. In international competitions of this nature, students are often seen competing against one another with an aim in sight. But to see them work as a team, putting their differences aside, gives Asia hope for a tremendous growth opportunity. This is Zeba Khan for Beyond with camera person Chavez.